Hello from Shakes and hello from Smarter. Welcome to 56 Ruby tutorial. In this tutorial, I will continue my previous topic prox and lambda in Ruby. Now, this is the continuation of the previous tutorial guys and in this tutorial we will discuss the implicit way to create a proc object and also to create a normal lambda object. Now, in previous tutorial we read about how to create a proc object using proc.new, then this long method, proc method in kernel module then kernel lambda methods but we left implicit way to create the proc object using yield statement and using concept of and block and also we have to discuss in this tutorial one simple way to create lambda now this implicit way to create the proc object using yield statement we have quite a long ago discussed during the block I don't want to waste time here guys that's why I will move on to the second one using concept of and block and to create a lambda here. Now let's check out its codes. So here I will use the implicit way using the AND block to create the proc object. Now let's start our coding. Let's say def space my underscore method. Yeah. And as an argument let's write AND let's say my underscore block. Now inside the method let us define put s. hello method right now let's write my underscore block dot call right now this is about our method now outside the method that is in the program body let us define my underscore method right then let's define our block put us hello block like this now let's save it and execute it and let's see what's the output yeah here we go when this statement is executed then this method is called and we're actually sending a block as a parameter here now when this block actually gets associated with this ampersand then ampersand my underscore block becomes a proc object yes this is the property how a proc object is getting created here then after that hello method is printed after that my block dot call so again this statement is executed hello block is printed here now let me show you guys it is actually a proc object or not how you will check it now let's return a value return let's say my underscore block so we are actually returning what a proc object now we are returning this value where actually in place of this statement so let us assign the statement to some variable so let's say block underscore variable equal to this now block underscore variable becomes equal to what my block because this is getting returned where it is getting returned here so block underscore variable actually becomes my underscore block and what is this actually this is actually a proc object so block underscore variable also becomes a proc object now let's write block underscore variable dot call now let's check it out what it actually going to print now let's save it and execute it yeah till this part I have explained you now after this after returning the value this becomes a proc object and proc object dot call it is going to call what this block of code hello block yeah I got printed hello block here like this now this was all about guys creating the proc objects I have shown you the four ways three main ways and one implicit way like this now let us come to our next portion that is to create a lambda to create a lambda nf of proc now now let's erase it all hope you guys understood it well now let's say normal lambda equal to what lambda yeah then curly braces now this is actually the block and this is what we are creating a normal lambda here with the help of this lambda kernel like this now we have to use our sticks or pipes 
or bars whatever you can call that is found below the backspace what I have to call this text or what whatever let's write parameter 1 comma parameter 2 now let's put as say parameter 1 interpolation 1 like this and parameter 2 then again interpolation sorry parameter 2 like this yeah return the codes like this yeah till here out of my screen let's do it yeah now fine now here in the block I have what I'm having I am having two parameters it is actually a variable variable 1 variable 2 and after that I'm just printing parameter 1 is what and parameter 2 is what so we have to pass what two variables here in the block now let's say normal underscore lambda dot call yeah and let's send two parameters let's say 10 and 20 now let's save it and execute it yeah parameter 1 is 10 and parameter 2 is 20 so in this way we created a normal lambda till now guys you won't get a feeling that I have differentiated lambda and proc with the help of a program in the later tutorial or in the next tutorial maybe I will differentiate what are the difference between the proc and lambda so stay tuned guys this is Shrek from smartherd signing off and please don't forget to subscribe and do share my video guys that's really important thank you and bye bye